Hello everybody, I'm Saranya Chitamama and my topic for the presentation is Support Vector Machines in Statistical Machine Learning. Coming to the history. Machine learning is a method of teaching computers to make and improve predictions or behaviors based on some data. It can also be defined as a field that involves computers and their ability to acquire and integrate the knowledge automatically. A general machine learning system basically starts with some amount of knowledge and the corresponding knowledge organization so that it can interpret, analyze and test the acquired knowledge. The data can be in any form such as a set of input sequences, a set of output sequences and a reading from a robot sensor. Another way to think about machine learning is that it is pattern recognition. Pattern can be defined as something which says about the probability of distribution of variables. And recognizing such patterns is called as pattern recognition. The standard tool for pattern recognition which has been very successful in the domains ranging from computer vision to computational biology is support vector machine, which was started by Wapnick in 1960. It is a theory about machine learning principles and small sample size. Support vector machine can be described in simple words as a mathematical entity or an algorithm that analyzes the data and helps recognizing the patterns. A basic system of support vector machine takes in a set of input which is generally comprised of data and then it predicts for each input the set of the output classes. SVM can be applied when finding fraudulent and non fraudulent credit cards and recognizing handwritten digits by examining a large collection of scanned images etc. Introduction SVMs provide a learning technique for pattern, and pattern recognition and regression estimation as discussed earlier. The solution provided by SVM is uh, theoretically elegant and very very efficient computationally. It has a simple geometrical interpretation in a high dimensional feature space that is non-linearly related to input space. This slide shows a vector x and a vector y and the result of the product of x and y. This slide shows the decision boundary line of ax plus b by minus b. Some methods find a separating hyperplane but not the optimal one. Support vector machine finds the optimal so solution that maximizes the distance between the hyperplane and the difficult points close to the decision boundary. This slide shows two planes x1 and x2 and 2 plus 1 and minus 1 separated by colors uh, green and red which are shown by the boundary line. In this slide different boundary lines are shown and the distance between them is called margin gamma and the weight vector is defined which is the normal vector of separating hyperplane and L is the number of data points. The margin gamma between two planes of an any point for example x y y can be given by this equation. If gamma is greater than 0 then the example is well classified. The margin gamma is the minimum of the margin distribution with respect to the plane itself. In this slide maximizing the margin the distance between h and h1 can be defined by this equation for any point x1 h1 and the distance between h1 and h r h2 r can be defined by this in order to maximize the margin we need the we need to minimize w with the con condition that there are no data points between h1 and h2 selection of a good hyperplane objective of selection of a good hyperplane is by only using a data by, and by assuming linear separability, we have to separate the data and place the hyperplane far from the data. Now comes the applications of SVM. The most important applications of SVM are phase detection and object recognition. In phase detection, in the component system, the feature components are located first, extracted and combined into a single feature vector which is classified by support vector machine. In object recognition, for scalable search, through a large database, image features are quantized using a scalable vocabulary tree, which is called SVT, which forms a large visual dictionary. Support vector machine is designed as classifier for three histogram calculated from SVT quantization. The other applications of SVM can be a handwritten character or digital recognition, speaker and speech recognition, image retrieval, correction, and data condensation. Hence, the brief introduction about support vector machines and thank you.